of n. Now for number three, it asked more specifically that if we consider the curve of number three, I mean number two, I mean we have we have already get this, right? It's actually this one. If we consider this as a curve, okay, and uh, it intersect intersect y equals ax plus b at x n of y sub n. Now we have to find the point of that intersection, and they say we have to give the answer in terms of a b n. So how to answer it? Now a uh, we can actually you know substitute this with that. Okay, so y is x of a plus 1 plus b over a yeah uh, and we and we can separate that why do we separate it because the general equation of a line is y plus gradient x plus constant right we got the variable x here so we consider this as a gradient and this as a constant that's why i separate it because the variable x is you know at this position and now we want to find the point of intersection with ax plus b now we only eliminate it now we can find x first right by subtracting it using the elimination method y minus y is zero now we can get the x so it is only x of a plus one a minus ax plus b over a minus b now you should know what this x is, so we can uh, change that. Uh, how to get this? It's x a plus 1 over a, then that is x here, so this is minus a, right? So x a plus 1 over a minus ax. And this is b over a minus b. Now we got this. Uh, this should be become x of... So a plus 1 minus a squared over a, you know, rationalizing the denominator, plus uh, b over a minus b. Now you know that to find x, we only move it to the side, okay? So let me rewrite that at the next page. That, uh, yes, now we have got the answer that is... 0 equals x of a plus 1 minus a squared over a plus b over a minus b, right? So we can, you know, move it to there of this. So b minus b over a equals x of a plus 1 minus a squared over a. Now we can rationalize this denominator. So a b minus b over a, x of a plus 1 minus a squared over a, cross this a, right? So we can say that b of a minus 1 over a plus 1 minus a squared equals x. So this is the answer for x sub n. Now for y n, we just substitute it. We know that y is ax plus b. And we know that x sub n is this one. So we can substitute that. So y a, x is this one, uh, b a minus 1 a plus 1 minus a squared plus b. Now we just have to, you know, make tidy our equation, tidying up our equation so that it will be uh, pretty much comfortable to look. Okay, so the way to do it is just, you know, multiply that in. a, b, a minus 1, a plus 1 minus a squared plus b, a plus 1 should be no bracket there minus a squared over a plus one minus a squared you see i'm just you know rationalizing the denominator we can calculate it a squared b minus a b plus a b plus b minus a squared b over a plus one minus a squared now we can you know this is equal to zero and this is equal to zero so the answer for y sub n is b over a plus one minus a squared so in terms of a, b, and n, x sub n is b multiplied by a minus 1 over a plus 1 minus a squared, and y sub n is b over a plus 1 minus a squared.